We know how to find the derivative of a whole lot of functions. Polynomials, trig functions like sine and cosine and tangent, e to the x, the exponential function. But how do we find the derivative of y equals the natural log of x? We call natural log is the inverse of the exponential function. If we were to draw a graph, the exponential function e to the x looks like this, y equals e to the x. By contrast, the natural log function, it looks like this, y equals the natural log of x. How can we calculate its derivative? The trick, change it back into a function we already understand. Since natural log is the inverse of e to the x, we can rewrite this equation as e to the y is equal to x. Then just like if there had been a plus 2 on one side and you move it over as its inverse, minus 2, you can move natural log over as its inverse, e to the. So we have e to the y is equal to x. Now we can calculate the derivative. Since the y is no longer isolated, we're using implicit differentiation. So go ahead calculate the derivative with respect to x of both sides. On the left hand side, you get e to the y times, by the chain rule, y prime is equal to, on the right hand side, 1. Solving for y prime then gives you 1 over e to the y. But we just said that e to the y is x, so we have y prime is 1 over x. That is, we just showed that the derivative of the natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. Let's see an example of this in action. Suppose you want to calculate the derivative of the natural log of some function like, say, x squared plus sine of x. Well, since we have a function inside of a function, we're going to have to use the chain rule. We'll first take the derivative of the outermost function. The derivative of natural log of x is just 1 over x. In this case, the derivative of natural log of our function will be just 1 over that function. We're leaving the inside the same. It playing the role of x here. But then, to complete the chain rule, we need to multiply it by the derivative of that inside function. That derivative being 2x plus cosine of x. In general, whenever you have the derivative of the natural log of some function f of x, it'll just be 1 over that function, then times the derivative of the function, or simply f prime over f. What if instead of natural log, you have log of some other base? For example, you might have something like the derivative of log base 2 of x. But here we can use a, a handy fact about logs. Whenever you have log base something, you can rewrite it as just ln of, of x divided by ln of whatever your base is, here ln of 2. And so we're really just calculating the derivative of ln of x with some constant term. That is, we have this constant, 1 over ln of 2 out front, and we're timesing that by the derivative of ln of x, which is just 1 over x. In general, we see that the derivative of log base a of x, for any base a, it could be like 2 or 5 or 7 or whatever your base is, will it be just 1 over the natural log of that base times x. This, this is quite similar to how our exponents worked out in general. So just compare this with what the derivative was for a to the x. For e to the x is just e to the x. But when you have a to the x, remember we picked up in front an ln of a term, ln of a times a to the x. In a similar way, when you have log base a of x, instead of just being 1 over x, like it is for ln, 
Instead, you have 1 over ln of a times x.